Hello Hacktubers, before start this project I want to tell you that I need your support. What I mean? I make video projects just for you and the only thing from you I need to share and like my video projects like you do every day. Thank you. Let's start this project now. Today we are gonna make wireless power. It's very simple design, it's made from few components like copper wire, one transistor, one resistor and one AA or AAA alkaline battery. And it's working like charm. First you will need insulated copper wire and if you don't have one you can find copper wire in old CFL light bulb like this one. Once you salvage the copper wire from CFL bulb on paper roll or any round object, we're gonna wind 3 to 4 feet about 30 turns of wire to make the receiver coil. You can use tape, but I am using another wire to tie the coil from uncoiling itself. With sandpaper or razor knife, you will remove the thin layer of insulation on wire so we can easily solder the wires. The coil have two ends. On these ends we solder LED any color you want. The receiver coil is finished. Now you are gonna start coiling the transmitter coil. 15 turns of same wire but this time double wire. When you finish the coil the wires from one side connect them together, like I show you now. You can see the schematic is super simple and are needed basic skills to understand. To positive pole of battery, both ends from transmitter coil are connected. From here one of coil ends is connected to the resistor and to base of transistor and other end of coil is connected to the collector of the transistor. On emitter is connected negative pole from battery. Take the transistor and place it so the flat side is facing up and the leads are facing down. The pinout is emitter, base, collector. The both of coils and circuit are finished now. I have made couple of coils in different shapes with different color LEDs and all work just fine. Even you can light them up under some objects. I place them all together and they still working at same time. I'm very surprised from simplicity of this circuit and how this circuit works with just one AA battery. You can check my other video projects right here. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe and visit my channel page for more videos.